from Karamoja all the way to to Busoga and uh, to Samia. We are really excited that this uh, festival, after such a struggle, is finally um, still in the game, and we we are so happy that. Uh, we have so many partners involved and always supportive. I want to take this opportunity to really thank Uganda Wildlife Authority. Uganda Wildlife Authority, uh, I could say our true partners because even at the concept level they were involved. Algon is from, Algon in Ua terms means Karamoja from Maroto to, to the Nile. So we are happy that they contributed to that concept <coughs> idea. Um, this year will be with a theme. The theme is unity in diversity. Uh, we have ni about nine ethnicities, and this is not just in Uganda. We have the nine ethnicities on the Kenya side. It's a cross-border uh, festival, meaning all the ethnicities that are in Uganda, as well as in Kenya, will be represented and will participate. I'm particularly excited this year because we have Banyala. I know some people have never heard of that. Banyala, almost like Banyole of, of, this, of, the, of Uganda. We're excited that they're they are going to be a part of, 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 uh, of the festival. Um, the festival begins on September 6th, which is a Friday. The, the, that day is, but it's just a launch of the festival. We have Ueluko Kosi, Umukuka the third. His Highness is going to be our guest of honor and he will launch the festival on that day. That day is just uh, for people to come and enjoy themselves and it will be light entertainment. It won't be as crazy as maybe a Saturday, but uh, all uh, the ethnicities who, who travel for long distances will arrive that day early so that they can prepare for the morning culture parade. Uh, in the morning, we'll have a culture parade that will start at Cricket Ground and then um, weave through the city and then end up here at the Elgon Museum. Um, we are promising really exciting parade. I know people look forward to, to, to that, but this year it's really going to be interesting. You'll have to watch out for it. It's something new, something a, a, a bit of a surprise for you uh, in the parade. Um, Thereafter, we'll have the cultural competitions on that same day with, with, with all the nine ethnicities. And we are excited because uh, last year we had the Japadola who won the overall competition and won the UWA prize, as you see uh, presented there. UWA is a sponsor of that trophy. And uh, uh, every, every, every ethnicity has promised to take it home this year. Pasoga are very serious. <laughs> They, they, they told me this year we're taking it, Priscilla. We're, we're not, we're, so it's going to be a really exciting time. So I, I encourage everybody to come and support the communities and support your culture. This festival, as, as, as we've said repeatedly, is a Renaissance festival. The word Renaissance means basically we're dating it back to maybe a hundred years ago. We replicate what our ancestors' life was, how they survived. Um, uh, why they survived so long, the foods, we'll have cultural stalls, we'll have cultural artifacts. Uh, it's going to be really interesting. We also have uh, the creatives, which is um, who make our culture. Uh, people don't understand that culture is uh, ideas, innovations that people bring to life. And the creative team, which is, which is a big part of, of the organization of this festival, which is headed by my partner Jeff, uh, basically is going to have a display. I think I'll have Jeff talk about that a little bit more, but we'll be part of um, the afternoon session after the cultural competitions. Uh, well, throughout uh, the entire festival, you <coughs> come in, you can purchase an item from them. They have very unique pieces, and, and I, I encourage the public to come and support our young creatives. Most of these kids uh, range from, the, from 18 to maybe 30, 35 years of age. And um, it's, a, it's a space for them to really express and to, to, to show what, what they can, um, they can make. Uh, on the third day, we have 
bullfighting as the initial activity. Actually, before bullfighting, bull in the, the morning session, we have uh, part of a team that has organized tour packages. If you're not from Bale, or even if you're in Bale, we have a hike uh, to Anale. I think there's a partnership with Bale Hikers, uh, Bale Hikers Club. They, you can hike up Anale, you can visit Kumi, which is Nero Rock, which is a uh, has a, a, an interesting uh, rock paintings that are over 4,000 years old. That's older than the, that's older probably than the Egyptian pyramid. So we need to support and, and encourage a local tourism industry uh, on that day. Uh, you can also actually go to the gorge in Bulambuli. That's also very nice. So the morning session is a, a bit of people to relax. The, the party animals who party the night before to uh, to take a break and then coming into the uh, afternoon session. The afternoon session starts with bullfighting. Uh, we have excite. This is what everybody anticipates. I know there's a little bit of controversy where people say, "Oh, it's it's it's, it's an activity that we shouldn't promote," but really, it's like any other sport. This, these animals are very well trained. The people who bring the animals love their animals. I've watched it firsthand. And the animals will come in from Bufumbo, which is our closest area. They have it every Saturday. It is a sneak peek. You can always go, um, I don't know what their dates are, but um, they always have these bullfights uh, up in the different areas of, of, of the mountain. Um, so thereafter, we'll have the final uh, part of the concert. This event is also a music extravaganza. Again, I, I like to have my partner Jeff really elaborate more on the on the music side. And